Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Jay Gonzalez here. Jay Gonzalez 95. Bringing you a deck profile of my 3.5, 3, 3 half, 3.5, three whatever the fuck you want to call it, Axis Fire Fist that you recently saw in, in my series of duels uh, against that Bujin deck. Um, yeah, let's get, let's, let's hop straight into the deck profile. This by far is my favorite deck, so the one I've put the most time into. Anyways, uh, we plus first we play triple of the pseudo Stratos. Uh, this card, you, of course, everyone knows what it does. But in case you don't, we play uh, you you summon it, sacrifice it, and then you get any any fire formation spot. And the reasoning for uh, having three of them. Is because you want to draw it, you you want to draw into it as fast as you can to get off your your horse prince combo and establish board control as fast as possible. Then I only play two bear. Every other build that I've ever seen always runs three. I decided to only try out two for this deck because it just simply worked the best to me. Um, I don't really love to draw it because I like to, to search it, but draw, drawing it is in half, half bet. Anyway, so one day I, I was trying to make room in, in the deck for an extra MST, I, I believe it was, or, or Dark Hole or, or something. And I decided to cut uh, one bear and I tried and I tested out at, at my locals, I tested this, this exact deck build. And I went X1, so since then I, oh, sorry, I have yet to look back. Then we play two Gorilla. I've started to see a lot of builds shy away from playing Gorilla. And me personally, I don't see why. It's, um, it's, um, it's real, really good back row hate. And me and most players in the format hate back row, so why don't you play Gorilla? I, I used to only play one, but I decided to bump it up to two, and I love it. Then we play two Fire, Fire Fist Rooster. Uh, Fire Fist Rooster, of course, is a great card because it allows you to recycle slash interchange, however you want to say, your fire formation spells, and that's just su such a great need. And then the second helps you deck thin and go to your combos basically on demand. And then once again for the Horse Prince combo, we play the Spirit. Spirit, you just summon it, give back your Leopard or maybe even a, a Rooster, depends on on the situation. And you go into your Horse Prince combo, which is such, such a great card. All around, probably the most vital card in it in the deck back when this was just a four axis <coughs> it um, proved rather slow and inconsistent and, and then I switched it up to this and I absolutely love this build then we play one fi Firefish Dragon I, I used to play two but I figured it's searchable and you really don't need its effect more than once. You know, I understand if you're new to the deck and you don't know exactly when to use its effect. But to me, I only need one because, like I said, it's searchable with Rooster, Tanky. Uh, yeah, with Rooster and uh, Tanky. So I I only need one. I I use it only for when I push for game. And I've discovered that's the best time to use it. So yeah, I only run one. And then I play one boar. Because when I go, me just as a player, not even just with the stake, but as a player, I've always had a problem beating more males. And I just don't know why. So when I figure out I'm either going up against herat heratic rulers or mermail, I usually bring this out as fast as I can to allow me to go into a Crimson Blader play, and that's honestly probably the only reason why I play him now. If I go up against Constellar or Bujan, I, I will side him out as fast as I can to go for, you know, light, light imprisoning me or something of that nature. And also for those pushes for game, uh, Brotherhood of the Firefist Buffalo. 
just such such a great card because it really does help those pushes for game because sometimes the, ex the extra 1700 is exactly what you need so when when you do need him just throw away two of your fire formations or maybe a worthless a worthless fire fist card in your hand bring him out and and he and he's just that and he's that extra push that you need and since it's three and a half axis I only play one one uh, coach soldier wolf bark because tight first first turn or late game tight tiger king plays is not bad of course you know it's very is very good it's the ideal play for uh, four axis but for me I don't go into tiger king as much so I usually go into late game and that one and uh, the wolf bark really helps and I only need one and sure I only have one that that, that could be an excuse why I only use one because this fucker's expensive anyways and then for our boss monster uh, blaster I usually don't summon him up unless my backs up against the wall uh, and I really need a big beat stick on the board or of course I'm pushing for game I mainly I'm, I mainly use him for for his spot removal. I've tried builds without him, and I just didn't like it. So yeah. Then of course for the fi for the spells, you have to play the mandatory triple tanky. Just speeds up the deck so well, and then a afterwards it's kind of dead. So you use it in combo with bear and uh, bear and gorilla to to pop shit and, and just to clear the way. Then we play triple triple Tenzu. Tenzu's a great card of course. Um just for any, any situation, especially the the horse prince combo. To get off your to get off your extra normal summon. That way you are at least able to either pop more things or establish more board control or or whatever. And then my favorite so sexy Fire formation spell is fire triple fire formation Gyoko. I am a back row hater, so playing this card, is kind of, especially at three, is kind of trollsy. But I I love it because cards like Skill Drain and cards like Breakthrough and Phoenix Chain they kill the the stick. So I I have three nabs at hitting at least one of those cards, and then at the very least locking down a Mirror Force, like a Pulse, a, a Deep Prison, you know something. So, so yeah, such a trollsy, but yeah, great card. Then on top of that, I play double MSD. Oops, I, I play double MSD just because I I'm a massive back row hater. I would play three, but I, I wouldn't be able to think of any th other card to to take out here. So yeah. Then for the one of spells, I play one rekindling. As you guys saw in that bougie matchup, this really came came in handy as soon as he activated. Overworked and not only took out my whole board when I when I, when I was pushed in for game, he also took out his whole board. And, and I also had one one card under the Gyoko lock, so so he basically cleared the way. If I didn't have this card in my hand, I I would admit I was prob I was more than likely screwed because I believe he had a Yamato in, in his hand. But since I had this, I played it and I redid the whole Horse Prince combo. And uh, I was able to put enough damage on board for game. Then for the more staple spells, I play one Book of Moon. Just the best spell card in the game, mainly because it's just so versatile. You can use it for so many different things. Yeah. Then for mass removal, we play one Dark Hole. Of course, of course. Of course, that rounds up the spells if we can get them off the damn thing. Okay. For traps, we play. I only play the one fire formation trap, one Tenzin, mainly because I only have one dragon, and I just think that the fire formation traps aren't really needed. So, yeah, I only play the one just because I only need the one. Plus, I love to play more general traps over it. So I play double, double mirror force. Of course, just when you're Oppo opponent really <laughs> there you go that's eh, in the middle of frame <laughs> <coughs> when you're 
when your opponent commits to the board and they think they have it all and they don't really wor worry about it because you know it has to be a tankian or like it has to be a tenzin they attack no bitch mere force bye bye to all to all your monsters and I also play double du double Phoenix chain just because some monster effects will just will just wreck me especially like uh, Yamato of sorts so yeah the and double fiend the chain two chains is just so good I'm gonna play double emptiness I love this card because I go off and then when it's my opponent's turn I have so much on board so much attack points on board that if I flip up this card at the right time they're just stuck you know they're just like stuck there like what the hell do I do and they generally can't come up with with any answers to get rid of the board control that that I established and then for the staple traps of course we play one bottomless one torrential one compulse and one solemn warning so yeah that rounds up the main deck once again 40 card main deck I have an extreme OCD with that. Then for the Xyz, and for the extra deck, I play one rank three. That's Lion. That's Lion Emperor. He allows you to kind of re recycle your monsters when 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 you need to. Then uh, you. Then I also play uh, two Tiger King. All even though I don't always go into him, of course he's a very, very nice option to have. And then I then I also play one Cardinal. Not only one I've kind of drained out my resources late game but also if my opponent has some something that I can't destroy I'll just I'll just send send send, send it back to the deck as well as recycling re resources is really really nasty then for the more general X deck I play one di one diamond dire one black ship of corn one guy 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 cowboy one abyss dweller of course for that mermaid matchup and then the cowboy for the burn and then one one on one, same reasoning as a cardinal. When they have a monster that I just simply can't can't to get over, I'll make him and just take it. And the, uh, a lot of the times when you play him, really try to bait out a Valor or a Fiend the same because if if they do that and they stop your your effect, you're pretty screwed. So yeah, then I play. One my one my one mighty warrior. I only play him because he's new, and I wanted another rank six, uh, level six, just in case. Just in case, um, just in case I've exhausted my princes. So yeah, you play one horse prince. Short, short. Oh, whoops. Get that in frame. Okay. Short, short and sweet. I have never. There have probably been one or two games that I have ever opened up with this card and lost. You know, you just establish so much control that it's just impossible for them to come back sometimes. Then for the level list, I play one Crimson Blade, of course, for Mermail and stuff. One Stardust. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, one Stardust Spark. And one Colossal Fighter. So yeah, that has been my three half, three and a half access fire fist deck. Uh, I do have a bit of a side deck, but um, it's out, it's out on loan right now. So, but in it, I have uh, off the top of my head, I have like double Valor, double Light Emperor, Prisony, and then Mac Macrocosmos, Defizzer, and Soul Drain. So yeah, just really quick off of the top of my head. But yeah. Uh, like and subscribe and comment if you enjoyed and uh, any other decks you guys would like to see just let me know this has been jay gonzalez 95 here and see you guys next time goodbye